Hello, this time I'm taking a look at portable solar panels, and in English too if you hadn't noticed. When outdoors, eventually your phone, camera or other device will run out of juice. While many battery banks can solve that problem, longer trips require heavy, heavier batteries and that is when you should consider buying a portable solar panel. I recently bought three types from China, ranging from 20 to 70 euros and tested them. A 10W and an 18W panel for charging USB devices like mobile phones and a 40W for USB devices, laptops and a 24V car battery. They each live up to the charge USB devices with no problems and uh, while charging a laptop does not require much effect, about 37 watts, only one had this option. Charging a laptop wasn't possible because of the 40 watt panels gave me 24 watts instead of 19 like they claim and that sort of killed any dreams I had of hiking with a laptop. Still, being able to charge my phone and video camera in the middle of nowhere is great. The included manual are rather useless. They are all say pretty much, this is a solar panel, plug in your stuff and charge and face the panels toward the sun. Duh. As for quality, the panels themselves are encased in a light synthetic fiber mesh material. The monocrystalline solar panels are placed under a thin plastic surface. I haven't tested it, but I guess it could be scratched. While the surface area are supposed to be water resistant, I wouldn't leave a panel hanging from my backpack in the rain. None of the panels I've tested so far had any IP classification and all the charge ports are exposed to the elements. The amount of sun that hits the panel directly affects how much effect you get out. My experience is that when even on a cloudy day I can charge my Android in a few hours. The vegetation that you go through will also change how fast things charge. The models I tested had tiny strings that were supposed to be used to attach the panels to a backpack. One of them broke so I decided to add eyelets to them by sensing the area for electronic components before punching a hole through the fabric. I'm quite satisfied with the results. Weight isn't really much of an issue. The smaller models can easily be fitted inside any backpack, but the larger one is more for stationary use like camping. Same thing with size. If you're just going to charge a phone, a 10 watt model is sufficient, and while a tablet could be charged by that, an 18 to 25 model with a dedicated 2 amp USB port is recommended unless you want to die of old age by charging it. You could charge a battery bank by the day, then use that during the night to top up your gear. All the cables that came with the panels are extremely short, and I suggest you visit your local hardware store to get longer ones. The 40 watt panels came with lots of cables for charging different laptops and clamps for attaching to a 24 volt battery, but none of those were of any help. So, which one should you get? Well, the smaller ones are dirt cheap if you import them from China, while some of the products they produce, to put it nicely, are lacking, lacking in quality. The solar panels themselves I bought have been rather okay. Prices on solar panels will continue to drop even more, but I think they are dirt cheap at the moment. Well, that's it for me for this time. I hope I provided you with some useful information. See you later.